Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we discuss the history of the language and words we use every day. If you're interested in language and history, subscribe and click the little bell so you never miss a word. Today, I want to talk about something I find exciting, the creation of new words. Yeet, verb, to remove or throw something with great speed or intensity. History and etymology. I love new words, and I love the idea that language, real language, the words we use every day, are the purest form of spontaneous order that we experience in our daily lives. Language cannot be enforced from the top down, and new words like yeet are beautiful examples of this anarchy of language. The earliest recorded use of the word yeet in its current form dates all the way back to the ye old days of 2014, when Vine was still a thing. And this is the video where yeet, where the modern word came from. Yeah. Yeah. Yeet. Yeah. 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 The word used in this video was almost a nonsense throwaway lyric used during the song. But the action taken during the dance associated with the word yeet is where the definition of this word came from. The action of grabbing something and throwing it behind you was the origin of the definition for the word yeet. Now, the use of this word is growing, but I'm still not sure I've ever heard it used in person outside of the context of somebody asking me what I think about the use of this word. And the first time I ever heard this word used was during a podcast by Jonathan McWhorter called Lexicon Valley, where his explanation of the word was primarily onomatopoeic. His interpretation of the word isn't wrong, but he did lack the details of this particular vine as the origin of the word. And since then, I've heard several YouTubers and content creators that I watch a lot use the word, like when they're referring to being banned or censored or pulled from a social network. And I think it's a great word to describe the sensation of having your platforms pulled out from underneath you, just like that motion in the video of grabbing something and throwing it down behind you. It's a great image of what these social networks are doing to people's freedom of speech. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or feel like you've learned something, please leave a like and share the video with a friend who you think might find it interesting. Make sure you subscribe on both BitChute and YouTube, and follow me on social media, both Alt Tech and the big corporate social media giants. Find the links in the description below. If you'd like to help support my channel or this project, you can find links to my Subscribestar, Patreon, PayPal, and even a Bitcoin wallet in the description below as well. Again, thank you for watching, and until next time, keep on learning.